and we back let's be real the charlotte hornets need our help over the last couple seasons the, the people on the roster have just dealt with so, so many different things the newest one being the kai jones thing and he just got waived as i started to record this video so we need to go help them win that first nba championship leave a like subscribe let's get into it so i, I waved them already um, we'll see if any other team takes a chance on Kai Jones. Now, the saving grace of all of this is that we have LaMelo Ball. He is an 86 overall right now. He's going to get better and better with time. He is a stud, and we know that. We drafted Brandon Miller second overall. We want Brandon Miller to develop to be the player that we think he can be. We pass up on Scoot to get Brandon. So we want to make sure that Brandon ends up being the better player so nobody looks back and have revisionist history. So we got to do what we can do to put Brandon in the right situation. Uh, we have the vets like Terry Rozier, Gordon Hayward on the roster. We brought back P.J. Washington on a team-friendly deal. And that's it. You know, Mark Williams is a part of the core, but I don't know what his progression looks like in 2K. So right now, if you were talking about the real core, once we raise that Larry O'Brien, then I'm pretty sure it's going to be the it's LaMelo and it's Brandon Miller. Again, I want to put Mark here, but again, I don't, I don't know what he progresses like. If he progresses well, then great. He's here, but the rest is up. You know, so the first thing I want to do is put Terry Rozier on the trade block. I want to put Gordon Hayward on the trade block. Maybe his $31 million salary can help us get something at the trade deadline or we dump him off to another team. That's kind of it. We're not making no preseason shirt trades whatsoever. We want LaMelo to be in a position to win. We also, like I said, want Brandon Miller to be in a position to win. So with all of the stuff that's been going on with the Charlotte Hornets locker room, it might make sense for us to go get like a, a veteran to just put in our locker room. If I had Iggy mentor Brandon Miller, what type of badge? He could get clamps, challenger, and, co and, and, and fast feet. It's pretty good. And it's probably the best option. John Wall has 18 badges. We might try to bring in John Wall to mentor LaMelo because these badges are insane. But we're going to prioritize right now um, getting Iggy because, again, Brandon Miller is so young. Um, and, again, you know, LaMelo's already in 86, so he don't necessarily need a mentor. But if we could, if we could get both, I mean, right now our backup point guard is Frank to take me Lakina, and I'm okay with John Wall taking those minutes. So if we can go out and get John Wall, that'd be cool. We'd have to wave somebody to make it happen. Yikes. Uh, Frankie Smokes, yeah. I mean, we have no investment in a 25-year-old Frank to Lakina, so we'll wave you. I don't even know if we're going to have the money for John. We do. Great. What's the lowest amount of money he'll take? 5-5? Five, five? We can give you one year 5-5, five, five, John. Well, let's do it. Great. So we got two mentors for our two Young developing players. Ankle breaker, handles for days, relay passer, gold. Actually, let's not prioritize relay, relay passer because he's going to get that gold just by, by him playing this season. So instead, let's get him fearless finisher. Why not? LaMelo's a guy that doesn't finish well around the basket these days. So maybe that can help him. And then we want fast feet, clamps, and challenger on Brandon Miller. All right. Brandon Miller comes in with zero badges. Zero? Wimby's going to have badges, of course. Scoot is coming in with four badges. I'm in Thompson got a badge. You trying to tell me everybody got a badge? He can't get one? Brandon Miller can't get one badge, not one? Some Something, but they didn't give him anything. I actually want to start Brandon Miller over Gordon Hayward and prioritize that. I know, I know Gordon Hayward, you know, has the respect across the association and everything, but we'd rather develop the younger guys. And John Wall, I don't need him to get a ton of minutes. Just go out there and provide something. First game of the season is a 20-point loss. Yay. Uh, Brandon Miller's first game is a pretty bad shooting game, but it was very well-rounded with 11, 8, 5, and 4. I'm not against us being bad this season. Let me actually, just to ensure that we're ready if we are bad, let's go get some, <laughs> some more scouts. Um, why is there only one scout available? It's only one scout. Oh, we don't have the money for it. We don't have a budget. Where's all of our money going? As a team, who are we hiring $30 million over four years for Mr. Clifford. Well, he prevented us from getting a secondary scout, but it's fine. That's fine. Mark is smart. See, I want to remind people these are not realistic rebuilds, but I'm not going to go super hyper unrealistic either, at least until I need to win a championship. You're very, all right, let's go to the deadline. Hopefully, we make some deals along the way. I don't know if this is good value, but I'm going to try to trade Terry Rozier away uh, right now for a first round pick. He's averaging 14 and 4. He's not shooting the ball well, very similar to last season, but his PPG is a uh, lot down. Um, the Miami Heat could potentially use him, um, give us Kyle Lowry in return in the first round pick. They say yes. All right. We got a future, future Miami Heat first round pick and Kyle Lowry, uh, former all-star guards coming into the team. You know, Kyle this season is bad and 
John Wall this season is actually really, really, really good. Um, <laughs> I should probably trade John Wall. Now that we got uh, Kyle Lowry who can mentor LaMelo, John Wall is really good. That Like, we got to capitalize on that. I did also try to pull off some Gordon Hayward trades because he's having a season. It's a season. It's a season, I promise. Uh, but with his contract, it's a lot harder. But John Wall, let's go trade him. We're not going to get a first-round pick for him, but we might be able to get something of value. Just find a team that's contending or buying. And he's making five million dollars, so find something that matches that. I want Peyton Watson on the team. Don't know why, really. He's averaging four points per game on bad shooting, but but I want Peyton Watson on the game, on the team. Uh, and he might even start. He might even start. They want Iggy. Who? That's where we might draw the line. Iggy has not played a single second this season, but but we like Iggy. As a mentor, I'll come back to the Peyton Watson. I might trade finder Peyton Watson or something. He he's a player that I enjoy watching. I will do it. We do it. I convinced myself that Peyton Watson is our our starting shooting guard, at least for this season, and see if he develops. Um, yeah, just tr tr trust or don't trust. I mean, this is this year we don't really care about, right? This <laughs> this is a season that we do not care about a lot. This is a throwaway season as we try to get another high draft pick. Again, Gordon Hayward feels like a player that we 100% should be trading somewhere. I'm again. I'm gonna look across the the landscape of the NBA one more time to see if there's somebody. But $31 million is still a lot of money, man. Even for these contender teams. They can't make that salary match without giving up something of super value. Like, there's not a lot of 30-something million dollar bad contracts just sitting around. Unless I want to give Minnesota the freedom to get away from Rudy Gobert. Um, I know they won't accept that. I mean, I don't think they'll accept it. What's Mark doing this season? Mark is solid. He's been solid so far. I don't think they'll accept this, but I'm going to try it anyway. And if they don't, then we just move on with the rest of the season. And we just let them walk in free agency. Um, oh, oh, we got still got to make up a little bit of money. Orlando Robinson. What did I just do? What did I just do? Well, I helped the Timberwolves. I probably could have got some draft capital or something. Um, we don't need Rudy Gobert at all. I, I, let's go to the end of the season. All right, here are the awards for this season. Shout out to all the typical winners. These are the same guys that win every single time. Except for John Morant winning Clutch Player of the Year. That's a new one. LaMelo Ball makes an All-NBA team. He broke his right ankle the last two weeks of the season, so we missed that part. But he averages 21, 6, and 7. I mean, 6 and 8. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Shooting splits, we need to get his three-point percentage up like it was the last few seasons. But we're okay with that dropping right now because I believe that it will get back to the point that it needs to be. We ended the season. Six wins. You know, 26 wins. I have a few people that I'm invested in. We saw LaMelo Ball's statistics. Brandon Miller averages 16, 5, and 3 and a half. Three-point percentage is not great, but a really good rookie season, I would say. Next, we want to see Mark Williams. He was 9 and, and 8. Again, we traded for Rudy Gobert halfway through the season. Um, he, his points per game went down, but that's that's fine. We're, we're okay with that. Um, where's my guy Peyton? Peyton Watson averaged seven points per game. Again, his shooting split's not great. Maybe someday. I don't know exactly what I saw in him. He's just a player that we haven't really had. And since we're a young rebuilding team, wow, his blocks are really high. Since we're a young rebuilding team, why not take a flyer on a 21-year-old that was the 30th overall pick not too long ago? His archetype says shot blocking wing. How fun is that? Very fun, if you ask me. Kawhi and DeMar DeRozan. The Bulls are in the NBA Finals. Let's get number seven, Chicago. Let's get number seven, Chicago. It don't look like we get a number seven, Chicago. You might as well not have made it. I'm getting swept and stuff. Take one game at least. No, if that happened in real life, bro, even though it, it ended in a sweep or whatever, I would have been so... That run, bro, y'all wouldn't be able to stop me from talking trash on Twitter or making YouTube videos about how good the Bulls are. Y'all, Oh, y'all better hope the Bulls never get really, really good. Also... Our pick is top protected. I know it says Charlotte slash Spurs, and the Spurs are crazy because <laughs> right now they got the top three. That's our pick. That's our pick, and it's not going to let us have it. Um, it will. We're five. We dropped down to five. That's that's fine. The not-so-fine part is that the Spurs ended up winning it. And you say, Kenny, why is it not so fine? The number one guy in this draft class is another 7-4 center. They're going to have two of them. Um, this one does not shoot as well as Wimby, but boy, is he a stud defensively. So that's not great for the association because who's going to beat that team in three years? It's not us. Oh, well, actually, it is us. It is us. All right, let's go to the draft. First pick is Marcus Barker. Um, pretty cool name. I like the name. Second pick will be Hans Struder from Germany. Then we got Wade Fields. Then we got Lonnie Reeves. 
think he's related to Austin, even though their names are spelled differently. All right, the best player available as far as draft position is a 5'9 point guard. I'm not going to draft him because he's 5'9, but shout out to the short kings out there, man. Whoa, Hall of Fame ceiling. The, the floor is the bench, so that's a huge difference. I'm not driving a five, I, I'm not drafting a five nine point guard. I can't do it. Next guy, you got John Kerr, who has a d good defensive player. He, there's no way he's got Bobby Jones and Matisse Thybulle if his defense isn't elite. His defense is not elite. Why, why give him those those players, those player archetypes? He can't defend, and he can't well because he can't shoot. That's why his defense is well below average. I don't know how the heck he's a top five protected pick. Yeah. Um, I wish we would have kept our number two overall pick because the rest of these guys in this draft class are not very good. This guy has Rondo ceiling. Playmaking is below average, though. You know? Um, again, we're talking about ceilings and all. Thorpe is another dude. And Thorpe looks like a stud from Arkansas. We don't need another center. We traded for one. We have another young one. But, man, he's got a 98 shot close. Tier defense is a 92 as a rookie. His rebounding is insane. I mean, we do not need another center at all. At all. Uh, yeah, we don't need it. I might trade this pick. I might trade this pick. There's nobody here that makes me excited. And you want to be excited about your, your number five overall pick. Heck, with Brandon Miller, I can't trade it? So why did it tell me before I was about to select it that there was teams that were willing to trade me the pick? Is it, did I just get a, a bug? Oh, we 100% just got a bug. Man, that sucks. So we have to use the pick. We have to use the pick. I mean, what we could do is draft this point guard guy because of his potential and then move him as if he was the fifth overall pick, you know? Ah, Daryl Maxwell, welcome to the team, my guy. I, I don't love it. I don't love it. I wish we would have been able to move it, but again, we got bugged out. So what, what more can I do? Cam Johnson had a step back shooting the ball this season. 14 points per game, five rebounds, two assists is the exact stats. 85-3, we know what he can do. He can run some four for us if we need him to, even though he doesn't rebound well. He's going to play alongside Rudy Gobert or Mark Williams, so we don't need him to be an elite-level rebounder. If anything, I wanted his defense to be a little bit better. But the only reason I'm talking about them because the Nets are selling this offseason. So I just want to see if there's anything we, we would be interested in. And Cam is one of the guys that we would be interested in. I don't really want to go get Mikhail or Claxton or Spencer Dinwiddie, really. So he would be a guy that we add to the list. I forgot that he's getting paid $23 million annual. That kind of prevents me from wanting to trade for him. Uh, yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. I completely forgot about that. Um, Book Knight is still on our team, making six million. We might just let it fly with James Book Knight and throw him to a team, bro. There's got to be a team that's will because he did not play minutes for us this year, and I don't expect his progression to do anything. He's 23. He played a total of like yeah, no minutes for us. We're, we'll throw him and see if somebody uh, take the shot on him and kind of free up some money or give us a future first round pick. At least top five protect the pick for next season. Philly should still be good. James Book Knight, go to OKC. Go do whatever you can do in OKC and um. Get, your, get yourself right. Go get yourself right, man. I wish you nothing but the best, but Charlotte's just not the place. Try to go get Cam. PJ, Reggie Jackson, they say no. Um, I don't want to give up any of the younger dudes, so I would be willing to throw another second-round pick. And what about another second-round pick? Cam, welcome to Charlotte, my guy. Uh, I think you're going to fit well alongside Brandon Miller. You're going to be our starting four this season. Peyton Watson still has our starting shooting guard spot at the moment. Um, and we're going to keep Daryl Maxwell. He's 5'9". Five, he's five, he's five he's uh, uh, hopefully he looks good next season and we can trade him later. But being 5'9", you know what? Actually, I should embrace the short king, man. Welcome. We're going to sell a lot of jerseys with your name on it because us short guys, we like to stick together. Play progression is going to tell us a lot. LaMelo, you're getting better? Woo! LaMelo, Brandon Miller both jump up four. Mark Williams jumps up two, so his progression is not as fast as I thought it was going to be, but he does have 10 badges, which we'll take. Rudy Gobert stays solid at an 84. We'll take that for right now. I mean, his numbers are off the books next season, so uh, after next season. Is that a player option? So maybe next season. It's not that bad of a trade. I know y'all, oh man, oh man, where's contract? It's not that bad of a trade, okay? Peyton Watson jumps up two. He has a badge. Ladies and gentlemen, Peyton Watson has entered the people with badges club. What is the badge, Peyton? Pogo stick. Well, he, he is a shot blocker. No, he's a perimeter threat now. His three-point rate had jumped up. Whoa, his three-point rate jumped up how many points? To go from B- minus to A- minus is insane. It jumped up four. Okay, it's not that bad. But B- minus to A- minus looks crazy on paper. He should, he's a threat from the three-pointer now. 
This defense is still lackluster as far as perimeter, but for some reason he's got pogo sticks for legs. He can block shots and stuff. Uh, he will still be starting a shooting guard for us. Trust. We got uh, Kenny Martin Jr. Could, because we got LaMelo Ball. We need at least a couple half flyers. I look at Mark Williams and Rudy Gobert as lob threats, and I see K. Martin Jr. as a guy off the bench that's going to catch a lot of lobs from LaMelo this season. We brought in uh, Yuta Watanabe, inner ear infection. He's fine. He'll be all right. And then we brought in Jermichael Green, veteran. Zero badges, though. I didn't realize he has zero badges. And then Marshall Mason. It was very close to Marshall Matters. And he's a great three-point shooter as a point guard. I, I don't think he's going to be on the roster next season, but he was a late second-round pick. Who knows? Who knows what he could turn into? I don't know. I'm taking chances. We're in Charlotte. We got to take chances. Peyton Watson looking good in Summer League, and so is our young fella. All right. All right. Well, he did get in. Our young fella did get injured, so I don't expect him to play this next game. They still go. We basically have half of our rotation plan. Wait, Julian Strother doesn't have a job. In real life, he's a stud. I don't know if 2K, he's going to be that good. Um, we're in the semifinals. Of the G uh, of the summer league, we lose in the semis to Jeff Howard, Anthony Black, and Mac McClung. Dang tough. Well, as you can see, our, our guy our guys look kind of look kind of good in the uh, the G League circuit. And I keep saying G League summer league circus. I'm messing around as we here. I don't think we're playoff team, but we might be. We might be. Lamelo just hit superstar. I feel like once you hit 90 overall, you're a superstar now. Uh, but let me make sure my minutes look good by having Cam officially. Go over to the four. Peyton Watson looks fine there. Um, Nick Richards. We probably should dump off Nick Richards. We don't need three good uh, centers on the roster. So he might be an odd man out. I'm going to give Nick Smith Jr. some burn. And I'm also going to get Yuta, uh, the shooter, some burn too. Because we just need to fill up some minutes. First game of the season is a win. Win against Wimby. Win against Wimby. French man versus French man down low. And we win. Yeah, and when we struggled, they got James Harden now, and they got the yeah, they got both of the bigs. Yeah, um, who started? Who started over there? We got to go see who started because again, they got two seven four players on their roster right now. Both good coaching. James Harden's coming off the bench. That's really good coaching to have both of them playing because why not? Wimby's got the lateral foot speed to keep up with fours in the association right now. So yeah, pretty pretty cool, pretty cool. We're pretty good, y'all. We're making a trade with the New York Knicks. Uh, Marshall Mason, who again, a guy we picked up out of nowhere. Again, he's an elite three point shooter. We won't be able to pay him or anything. We're gonna trade him and Nick Richards, who we don't need a third string center in my opinion. He's been okay, but he's still got another year on his contract. Plus, our this year's first round pick again, we're good, so I don't mind that. For Quentin Grimes, and who we'd have to resign this season, but we feel pretty good about Quentin Grimes coming into the team. Twelve points per game player. Uh, right now, we're starting Peyton Watson. I think Quentin Grimes can take that spot or not. Peyton Watts is good. Peyton Watts is good. Uh, that makes me feel so good uh, to see that he's having a great season. Grimes adds more three-point shooting and perimeter defense. Peyton Watson will still be in the rotation, but he just won't be starting, so we don't have to worry about that too much. And now I feel like our lineup is a little bit more balanced. I would like to keep getting Maxwell minutes, but as you can see, he's not having a great efficiency year. And right now, we are in a playoff push. We are the two, <laughs> we're the two seed. <laughs> playoff push. We are in the playoffs, y'all. Um... So I don't want to give minutes to somebody that's not good enough to really play at the moment. Uh, he could, again, he could be a trade piece if we don't win it this year. But if we win it this year with this roster, that would be something. Because we didn't do anything major. You know, really good role player. Uh, fallen from grace star player. And a couple role players. It's all it really took for us to get back into the playoffs, which is dope. Lucas MVP. Of course, this guy wins rookie of the year. Here are the awards. Oh, most improved Lamel. LaMelo Ball. The shooting is back and better than ever. His most efficient year as an NBA player, 29 and 10. That is the reason. That is the reason why we were so good this season. It wasn't us. It wasn't the two trades I made. It was LaMelo Ball hitting superstardom. And he's all NBA first. First team. Let's go. That means he was runner up to, uh, to MVP behind Luka. He was the second guy. And this is not by positions anymore, as you can see. So that's great. We feel good. We feel really good. What proceeding were we? We ended up being a two seed. We'll take that. Here are the stats. We already saw Lamelo's. Brandon Miller averaged 20, so big sophomore jump, five-ish points per game. His efficiency also went up, becoming a 40% three-point shooter. Cam's efficiency went back to where we know it can be, 43% three-point shooter. Peyton Watson was good. He was even hitting his three-point shot. I feel good about this team, man. I don't know if I feel championship good. But it's a fun, I think this is a team that league packs people are like, yeah, this is the team we watch it. So first round, we're going against the Toronto Raptors, who have at this point the uh, same lineup as they do in real life. It's still Schroeder, OG, Scotty, Pascal, and Jakob. 
Uh, I think we should be significantly better than those guys. But again, our on paper things don't look great. It's really just like the LaMelo ball and us thing. 2-1 series, 3-1 series us, and we get to the next round to go against these 76ers. I was trying to pull off a trade to 76ers. I wanted B-Ball Paul. And they either they either they traded him away or he's injured because he was starting at the four and his numbers weren't crazy. It was like seven points per game. But like, I thought that was interesting. Uh, they also gave Kyle Anderson the starting job. Huh. Am I going to adjust it? No, we're winning games right now. They got Cam coming off the bench. Kenya Martin Jr. is upset, which I don't love. But they got him coming off the bench. And if that's the way we win games, then I don't really care. We lose game one. Okay. All right. Um, Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey have great games. The Mellow Ball also has a great game, but where's his help? Did not exist. Game two, uh, Peyton Watson gets injured. He's back that fast. He got injured and was back the same day. Triple double alert for LaMelo Ball. Brandon Miller, there's the help. Mark Williams is starting for us next season. Um, I'm, I've already said it. I'm, I'm speaking into an existence. He's going to hit that next step because he's great. Um, and Rudy Gobert is kind of a placeholder center, you know. We're down 2-1, and I think this is where I officially step in. They want to start Mark Williams, and I'm going to start Cam too. LaMelo did get injured, but he will be playing through it because he's LaMelo ball, and we win that. He played through it and got another triple-double. 2-3 series us and conference finals appearance, Charlotte. We're here to go against this super team. And that's the only way I can explain it. This team has prevented us from winning a lot of championships so far in 2K24, especially once we get into the future. 390 overall players is hard to mess with. We have one. One. And nobody else is even really close outside of that. Crazy things have happened, though. Game one is a win for the Charlotte Hornets. Oh, my God. Game two is a LaMelo ball back from his injury. A win. We take home court advantage away. Game three is a win. We sweep them? No. No, okay, OKC's here. Now, we did just trade for OKC's pick last year, so dang, that pick is not going to be valuable. But, 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 this team on paper is not as good as that Cavs team. That Cavs team was stacked, elite, all in between. This team is not that. Game one is a or loss. Okay, all right. Um, game two is a win. I should have looked to see who had home court advantage. Um, they had home court. So we take one game in OKC. That's great. Game three, big one. We win. Brandon Miller, he's a, he's a sophomore. Like, they be chanting that type of stuff when I go to high school basketball games. Um, and I only go to high school basketball games to support my cousin. I'm not just going. I'm 27. I'm not going to high school ball games to watch casually. I'm going to support. Okay. 2-1. Two, 2-2. One. Two, two. All right. Shea versus LaMelo is a good game. We lose the next one. Hmm. Okay. All right, this is where we start to say, hey, Mark can keep his spot. Peyton Watson, um, you've been okay so far, but this is where we ask our best players to showcase why they are our best players. So LaMelo, you're getting 45. Brandon Miller, you're getting 40. Uh, who's the next guy? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, just like this. Just divvy the minutes, minutes up amongst the other dudes. 3-2 series in their favor. Let's see if we can come out of here and take this game and then force a game seven. It is not extremely close. We end up losing that first quarter by a lot. Second quarter, we come back, but we are down by double-digit points. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks as though we are not walking out as NBA champions this season. That's okay. We, we uh, big building season. Again, we didn't expect this team to, A, make the playoffs when it started, and B, to make it to the finals is crazy. That lets us know that we are pretty good, and we sh we're not that far away from winning which can convince uh, front offices, a.k.a. me, that we should make some, maybe some splashes around the association. You feel? Uh, we will end up having pick number 25. Um, we didn't trade for OKC's pick. We traded for Philly's pick. Right. So we will have pick number 25. That's not really relevant to us. Really, it's the 25th overall pick. You feel? I mean, we might be able to find a gym. You know, we'll keep it. I'm not going to just, just try to trade it away just because. We will keep it, draft 25, and see what we can get. This offseason, or I guess this next season, the guy that matters the most, believe it or not, is the guy that we drafted, seven, uh, the 5'9 guy that we drafted a little while ago. He holds the keys to this team. Whether we trade him or we keeping him because he hit the next step, I don't know. Um, Ellis O'Neal is a pay-protecting four. Can you catch lobs, though? If you can't shoot on this team, you have to be able to catch lobs. He's not very good at that. Also, we got another point guard, Howie Smith, who's a great three-point shooter. Can you play make, though? Um, his playmaking is solid. His defense, not as solid. He's a 75. 
Daryl Stevenson is a great mid-range shooter, but that's pretty much it. But he is 6'8", which we appreciate. But if the defense don't, it's, it don't matter how tall you are if you can't. We took the point guard, Howie Smith, welcome, out of Illinois, which we appreciate. Six badges is really good for a rookie. I don't know if he'll ever play for us, but six badges, and they're all shooting badges. He might be a stud one day, but I don't know. Big, big offseason for the good guys. Big, big offseason. So we see Quinn Grimes and restricted free agency. We feel good about that. Do we have money? Um... Not really. We have the mid-level. Rudy Gobert, is, he accepted his money. Makes sense. I am under the impression that at 33, Rudy is about to regress, and then Mark Williams will continue to get better. So we have 46 potential million dollars in money to spend right here, right now. Uh, as far as trades go, let's go look to see teams that, are, that were bad. They're buying now, but they do have Larry Market and locked up. And last year, what did you do, Larry? Last year, he averaged 18 and 6. His three-point shot fell off a cliff, the worst three-point shooting season of his career. But he's a player we might be interested in. I don't know why they would trade back for Rudy Gobert uh, unless we're giving them a bunch of draft capital to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, 14th seeded son. They still got all three of their guys. Devin Booker has signed an extension. Three years, 172. He's a stud, as we know. Devin Booker, you're on my list. Anthony Edwards is not untouchable. He's going to be crazy expensive. Crazy expensive. Celtics disappointed. Jason Tatum is in free agency, and Jalen Brown is not untouchable. I'm adding Jalen Brown to our list. He's got a lot of money to be paid to him, but he's, again, Jalen Brown. Uh, we also got the Grizzlies, who were bad this season. We don't get John Morant, but, oh, last year of deal, Jaron, just in case it's not, I don't think that's safe. But Desmond Bain, add him to the list. So I want to see what Tatum is thinking. The Orlando Magic, the Bucks. The Orlando Magic and the Bucks. Oh boy, uh, that is insane. The Orlando Magic might have Paolo, Tatum, and they'd be getting rid of Franz Wagner to bring Tatum in, which I guess is fair, but that team could be nasty. But since they're also losing Tatum, should we go try to get Jalen Brown? Jalen Brown last season averaged 24, 6, and 3. He shot the ball well. I'm going to try to snag him. So we'd be giving them Rudy Gobert's big old contract just to make the numbers match. We'd give them our guy, Maxwell, who's only two-star value. Oh, my heart just sunk. Former fifth overall pick, two-star value. We'd give them Kmart Jr. because he's been upset with his PT and stuff for a long time, since we got him. I'm feeling frustrated about the current situation. You can go. You can go. We don't really care. And then we have our own first-round pick you can take unprotected. We have a Miami Heat first round pick, and I don't know where the Heat are at in their situation. Three first round picks, Rudy Gobert, Daryl Maxwell, Kenya Martin Jr. is not enough to get Jalen Brown. Okay, that's not surprising at all. We can maybe open this up to turn this to like a pseudo three-teamer, right? Uh, well, we could try a real three-teamer, but a pseudo one as well. He comes to Charlotte, and then we send Rudy Gobert to Utah. Walker Kessler and Walter Benson will go to Boston. And then this first round pick will go to Boston as well. Um, both of them say no to that, obviously. We put Maxwell in a deal. He's three-star value to the Jazz, two-star value to the Celtics. The Celtics starting point guard is Peyton Pritchard at the moment. So why would you not want a point guard? That makes no sense to me. The Jazz are cool with this deal. I wonder if the Jazz will be willing to throw a first round. Oh, that pick is valuable. They're not going to be okay with it. The Jazz are still willing to do, do this deal. They're willing to give up their first round pick. Okay. Okay, so now we just, we got to convince the Celtics that this is a deal worth doing. That's it. Just convince the Celtics. Convince the Celtics. Operation Convince Celtics. They, not, they don't want nothing. They don't want every player that we add. They're like, no, not good enough value. We throw, we throw him to the Jazz. They're like, yeah, take, we'll take it. We'll take it. I don't, I, they, yeah, okay. All right. Uh, well, we give up all of the first round picks. How about that? We, this is all we got to a fake three-team trade or real three-team trade. They still saying no. Um, we can't give up Marky Mark. Peyton Watson is not valuable. This guy who we just drafted is not valuable to any of the two teams. The Jazz are even willing to give up Keontae George in this trade. Are the Jazz also, are they willing to give up Colin Sexton? They don't want Colin Sexton. Who do you want? Danny, no, Danny Ainge is not in charge over there. Who do you want, Brad? Okay, so you might want this Alex Black character. Are they willing to trade him? Okay, so they're not willing to trade Alex Black. Oh my God. Putting together three team trades is so impossible, bro. It's so impossible. They're willing to take on Taylor Hendricks, who's two-star value. I wish I would accumulate more first-round picks over the last two years. I thought I did low-key, but I guess I didn't. That's the best we could possibly do. We're, we would give them four first-round picks, as you can see, plus Walker Kessler, 
Uh, five first round picks, Walker Kessler, Taylor Hendricks, and Walter Benson for Jalen Brown. And they like, nah, we not doing that. Reality got to sink in because Jason Tatum is, maybe we should let Jason Tatum sign to his next team. Maybe we should just let him sign to his next team. Oh, we, we need to bring back Quentin Grimes. But let Jason Tatum sign to his next team and they going to really come to the realization that, oh, snap, we should be trading some stuff away because Tatum's not coming back. Or he is. All right, they're smart. All right, they got me. They got me. And, and he for sure looked like he was going to the Orlando Magic. All right, well, that, that screws up that plan. Uh, they just knew something that we didn't. They were talking to him under the table and said, no, nah, don't accept that deal. All right, so, okay, that's not a, that's not that big of a deal. We got other people that we want to take a look at, like Larry Markin, who's probably a safer option. But they weren't accepting for Jason oh, for Jalen Brown, who's at a 90. I doubt that the Suns will be willing to give us the 94 overall player. They kind of like uh, Maxwell, great. Um, do they want this guy too? Howie Smith has a little bit of value. K. Mart Jr. has more value. Okay, they're going to say no. We have room for three first-round picks, even though they're not good first-round picks to anybody other than us. Yeah, the Devin Booker one is dead as well. That's, that's, that's fine. Trading K. Mart Jr. for two first-round picks. Uh, we just kind of want extra draft capital for whatever big trade we end up doing. Paolo Bancaro sitting here. They want three first round picks for it, but 22 year old Paolo is a trade we would do in a normal video, but not today. I mean, the Larry Marketing deal is straightforward as heck. It's it's not, you don't even, you know, you don't even have to give any first round picks away. Hey, let's try to do, I'm, I'm offering this one time, okay? I just, I'm just curious. I'm just, oh my God, Maxwell, I'm curious. Send him there, send you there, send you there, send you there, boom. Neither team is interested. Okay, change this one first round pick. Boom. Neither team is interested still. All right. Well, the Suns, the Suns say it's acceptable. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The Suns are in on this deal. How do we convince the Jazz that this is good? How do we convince the Jazz that this is good? Can we get like a second from you guys to go to the Jazz? We are already set at center. I'm not sure we really benefit our team. Bro. You just wanted this trade to happen. Oh my God. Okay, I got to screenshot this. I got to screenshot this. This is a, <laughs> a monumental moment, potentially. Hold on. Cannot believe we might be able to pull off this Devin Booker trade. All right, let me let me go back to my screenshot uh, and, and put these things together. We might be getting Devin Booker, ladies and gentlemen. And I believe how good that Bulls first round pick is, honestly. It's, it's, it's up there, man. I didn't expect it to be up there, but it's up there. Okay, so this is the exact same offer. Um... But instead, we finagled Rudy Gobert to be a power forward, and now neither of them are interested. This is what I mean. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This Chicago pick's supposed to go here. This pick goes there. Okay, the Sun still says acceptable. All right. And then we try to go get the Jazz more seconds. I don't know how many more seconds, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to try to get all of them. Uh, now neither team is interested. Dang. Okay. That's too many seconds. What if we get you the Milwaukee Bucks? Oh, that's a second round pick too. What if we give you a first rounder to, to make this happen? Neither team is interested in it. Oh boy, okay. All right, I'm just gonna try to mess around with player going here, player going there, and see if that changes anything. The answer is no. We thought we had pulled off something elite, ladies and gentlemen, we, we, we have it. Um, okay, idea. You go, you go, you go, you go, you go, you go. Now they don't want to do this. Hold on. I think we can pull off the Larry marketing trade and then make it a, a, a fake third team because this is what the trade was. All right. And now we go talk to them and we basically cut out the middleman. We cut, we cut out the middleman. Hold on. Book. We give, we give them back um, Larry. And even if we don't, they don't accept this. We got Larry marketing. We'll take that. Larry, Maxwell, the first round picks that we were, we were interested in giving them. Um, you can, did I trade Kenya Martin already? I did. You, you can even take Howie Smith, first rounder, boom, first rounder, boom. That is not a real three team deal, but it is. Wow. Devin Booker, LaMelo Ball is the backcourt. Brandon Miller is the three. The four is Cam at the moment. I'm not married to it, but Cam. And then Mark, I need you to take a huge step forward, a huge, huge step forward, Mark. We need to go get a bench because that is something we gave up a lot of depth to make that trade happen. And it should be worth. Cannot believe that took so long. That that itself, that trade itself just took so long. But worth it at the end of the day, especially if we get this Larry O'Brien. Also, Jason Tatum's not going back to the Celtics. So they could have had that same exact trade package, but they was being too stubborn. Like I mentioned before, we are not a very deep team at all. Um 
Actually, the Benson guy comes in and, and plays over Alex Caruso. What are you good at, Benson? I didn't even look. Oh, great. You're a great defender. I signed Alex Caruso for deep. Well, Alex Caruso is A+. Plus. But I signed Alex Caruso for defense. Little did I know that Benson was about to come in and be a, a good defender as well. So we don't really need Alex Caruso anymore. Peyton Watson, unfortunately, regressed uh, at, at 23. And as much as we want to have Peyton Watson play, we can't. He's fell out of rotation. So he's a trade chip, potentially, plus Alex Caruso, who's making a minimum, I guess. Um, man, why? I mean, it's not perfect, you know? I think we still are going to be very competitive, but are we a championship team? I mean, we were two games away from being a championship team before adding Devin Booker. Now, the loss of Rudy Gobert might show his face a little bit, unless Mark Williams can really do that. I mean, he had four blocks in this game, and defensively, it looks like we're not giving up a ton of points, only 102 this game, which is funny because when I was a kid, if you were giving up 102 points, you probably lost. But now, 102 points is like, dang, that team can score. Uh, it's just crazy how things have changed. And we are 5-0. And, oh. and we haven't even got our chemistry yet. Yeah, yeah. Let's go Let's go be buyers right before the day. Oh, Bruce Nee. That's cool. He cool. He cool. Oh, oh, that's tough. Bones Highland, 4-6. to six. And here comes some losses because we don't have any replacement. But Alex Caruso can run back a point. Go. We fine. We fine. Real talk. Walter Benson is a is really good like he was a throw-in for me and he's having an amazing season what a stud Alex Caruso has a huge morale boost he cannot score but three morale boosts is the highest I've ever seen um we we look good uh Cam is good still I I, I fear that he might be the odd man out though once he in our division in our conference we got that I'm curious if there are some things we could potentially do with some selling teams. Um, it's, not, it's not a ton of them across the association so far. Pascal's contract is way too big to make that happen. At $38 million, we can't make $38 million happen. So as a selling player, he makes sense. Um, I got a sneaky idea. Let's go talk to the Suns. They're selling again. And say, hey, you remember we gave you this guy a little while ago? We kind of we, we want him back. You know, we kind of want him back. We we'll even give you Peyton Watson. And it hurts my heart. It does. It does. It hurts my heart to maybe give him away. Give us back Montrezl. Montrez Harrell. We give up the Celtics first round pick swap. Trade exception done. One first is all it takes. And Cam, I appreciate you. And you will forever be remembered as one of the, the sacrifices for this championship run that we're about to go on. Larry Markinus slides in at the four really well. Another seven-foot guy to add to the starting lineup. Defends good. Rebounds well. I think we could use another bench player, like a bench wing. Again, I know that Will and Quinn Grimes probably holding it down. No, we need to prioritize backup power forward more than anything, actually. The bench is fine. The bench wings are fine. Wow. Uh, Paul George is just existing on a minimum. He's only an 81. But he also is Paul George. He's only 81. But he also is Paul George. His defense is average nowadays. I'm not just gonna I'm not just gonna accept it because he's Paul George, but he is Paul George. He's coming to the team. Welcome, Paul George, to the association. Welcome to Charlotte, my G. You're gonna play small four for us. And guess what? He's the best wing on our bench. Simple. We still need a backup four. Uh, but that it's it's Paul George. You feel me? It's Paul George. We got a lot of wing play though. Worth, worth. I do not regret it, not even for a millisecond. We'll go get Obi Toppin to be the backup four. He's only a 77 right now. But again, that's that's good enough for us to have him play. Uh, we still need to find minutes for Hearn Gomez, or do we? Mark Williams and Larry Marketing could hold that down, right? Ugh, it's not pretty to have all these wings. But it's Paul George. I had to. I had to. You know, you would have done the same thing. It's Paul George. How many times can I say it's Paul George in one single video? I don't know. It's Paul George. Uh, yeah, I think we. I think we good. I think we're good. I think we're good. First game after the trades. Let's hope that only having one real playable center doesn't come back to bite us. Uh, with like a Mark Williams injury in the playoffs or something. 41, Paul George, 6. Yeah, this is our time. It's our time. Here are the awards. Sixth man of the year, rookie of the year. The first player to do that since. Do, 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 do. I don't know. But I, I do know that Ben Gordon was a sixth man of the year as a rookie. But he did not win rookie of the year that year. Uh, so here are all the awards. Steve Clifford in his very angry face ends up winning coach of the year. 61 wins for our Charlotte Hornets. We get LaMelo on the first team. And then Brandon Miller on the second team. Or, or I'm sorry, that's second team and third team. I thought for sure... Devin Booker would be on one of these teams, but he's not. He's not. You know, it's, and that's cool. That's cool. That makes us feel better that even the Devin Booker acquisition doesn't get in the way 
of what um, our guy Brandon Miller could potentially be. So let's go ahead and look at the overall statistics. Brandon Miller led us in scoring this season. Oh, and Mark Williams is injured. Exactly the, the thing that I said might happen. It's happened. But he's playing through it. So it's fine. Uh, LaMelo's numbers are here. Book's there. Paul George is 12. And Larry Market in 16 with seven rebounds. Championship quality team, 100%. You cannot convince me otherwise. Championship quality team. Here we go. First round, we're going against the Milwaukee Bucks. So they still have Dame. They do. And they still have Giannis. And they have Jalen Green. How? Why? How? Okay. Game one is a Charlotte Hornets win. That's great. That's great. We'll take that. Game two is also a Charlotte Hornets win. This team might not be as good as it may look. 3-0 us, and we sweep them. Round two is the Orlando Magic, um, who have Paolo, I'm assuming, even though he almost got traded to us. Like That was out there. I didn't think about it. They got Jimmy Butler and Jalen Brunson. So they lost Franz Wagner and signed Jimmy Butler and, and Jalen Brunson. Wow. That's so interesting. Jalen Brunson got to guard Devin Booker. And he's a little bit short for that. Game one is a win. Game two is a win. Uh, Devin Booker has a sprained MCL. He's going to play through it because he's Devin Booker and he's just different. He's just different. Conference finals. We've been here before. We've been here before. Is it against this exact same team? Nope, not against the exact same team. There's no Donovan Mitchell anymore. This team is not as scary as it was last season. Mike Townsend. Who? I also recognize Devin Booker dropped that. Oh, he's injured. Okay. I was like, 89? I forgot he was injured. Okay. Uh, he's playing through it because he's still. Game one. G yep. Devin Booker's st still. Okay. Game two. Great. Okay. Can are we going to dominate the Eastern Conference? Yes. Who's, who do we see? Okay. See, I want to see y'all again. I want to see y'all again. Let's start this rivalry. You won the first time. Let us win this second. Well, don't let us win. But we will win the second time. Because on paper, we are the better team now. We got reinforcements. We done called up the Avengers. Game one. We win. Brandon Miller, Brandon Miller, that's his name. Game three, I mean, game two is a win. Game three, ladies and gentlemen, Charlotte, you get your championship. You get your championship. And LaMelo Ball, the man who stuck through the thick and thin, gets finals MVP. What a stud of a player. 93, and then again, Devin Booker was, what, a 95? So we got two high 90 overall players. Larry Market in 87, and then Brandon Miller was an 88. We get Paul George a championship right before he decides to retire. I wonder if he will retire. And he said, hold on, Charlotte, I want to go again. And we would. This GM, I, I can only win one championship at a time. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Appreciate you. Peace.